to the channel. This is Veronica and I'm Ryan. If you're new here, day two on Navigator of the Seas. So we have landed this morning in Ensenada. It was a little gloomy and overcast this morning, but uh, you know, it's starting to clear up now. It should be a nice day. Plan is, I think we're gonna go into town. We've got Mexico's largest flag yeah. there in the background, which is pretty, uh, it's a big flag. <laughs> it's a big flag. <laughs> Ensenada has claim to fame here. The two places that claim to be the inventor of the modern margarita. We're gonna put it to the test and see yeah. who has the best one. And then there's some good food in town that we gotta try out. Yeah. You know, check out some of the shops. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. There's a La Bufadora, which is a, this world's second largest blowhole. Last year we went to the first one, Holona blowhole mm -hmm. in Oahu. About an hour's drive from here, they've got all kinds of wineries and vineyards and stuff. So Lots of uh, I'm sure that would be a great <laughs> time to do. We're just gonna go check out downtown. First things first, we're gonna go grab some lunch and then we'll see you guys downtown. Come along with us. In this episode of National Geographic. Let's go get our first margarita, huh? Yeah. I think that's what they're telling us to do. So they do have these uh, shuttle options. I think it's four dollars per person, and it'll take you to downtown. But we're gonna go ahead and truck it over there. Just walk it. It's about maybe no more than half a mile to where our first spot is. You can actually see our room right there. So they have a nice little malacona over here. I know. You can tell that they really uh, put some time and effort and money. So we haven't really walked far at all. Yeah. But I guess we have gone a bit of a ways, like the cruise ship's way over there. Yeah. We're gonna first stop mm -hmm. at Bar Andalus. So Bar Andalus is here, on, kind of like further away from the main Malecon area, but it's here in uh, the, the former Hotel Playa Casino. Now it's like a cultural center. This margarita claims to be the original margarita, named after the owner of this hotel and casino in the 40s, Margarita King. Let's go for it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get a margarita. Yes. First, the first sip was very sour. Yeah. I think from the lime. And the margarita, like but the tequila, just kind of it's mellow. It's a good margarita. It is. I like it. I can we drink went it. we went over rocks because frozen. I kind of I think it waters down. Yeah, it does. The margarita. Yeah. All right. Now that you've had a few sips in yeah, what do you think? I can drink this all day. Right. It's it refreshing. It's like you're biting into a lime, but it's got a sweetness to it. It's like a kind of like a sweet limey, lime. like lemonade. About five bucks each with tip included. Yeah. yeah. This is nice. I like the ambiance here. Yeah, same. Good margaritas, good uh, vibe. Yeah. Digging it. Yeah, so these streets have all these little like you know, trinket shops and gift shops you can stop yeah, by. Yeah, this is what you normally would see like at Rocky Point. Yeah, we know? we frequent Rocky Point, which is just you know a four hour drive from our yeah. home. So not anything unusual for us. We're not going to stop in and check these out too much. It's like it's no secret anymore, but uh, Anthony Bourdain kind of spilled the beans on this spot. La Guerra Dense, which is, uh, yeah. yeah, they have a Tostadas Marisco, which is, he's compared with like some of the best. As a bit of a foodie myself, I'm excited for this. Yeah. We just got the mixed ceviche because they were out of the ones with the uh, the shrimp. So let's see, we got some different sauces here. That looks like they have their own. Well, they have a tamarindo one. I'm gonna go for that. 
again, this is a place Anthony Bourdain came back to in 2012. They called it the best uh, tostadas mariscos that he's had, comparing it to like places in uh, Manhattan with like three Michelin stars. So right. give us a shot. It's so good. Is it? Good. It's spicy too. Not really. You don't really taste seafood at all. I see what all the hype's about. Nothing beats a good ceviche. This is good stuff. Go I'll for it. it. Don't think too much. I know, just like the escargot last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm eating snail. Just give it a little nibble on the end there. There's no fishiness at all. It's very fresh. It's just, just salsa. Just salsa. There's, there's just no salsa. seafood. There's no seafood. You get that pop of flavor, that pico, spicy, citrusy. Yeah, I didn't taste it. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't taste the fish. I don't. I don't eat seafood. I didn't taste it. Good stuff though. Definitely yeah. recommended. Good little uh, treat between margaritas for us. Yeah. All right, we're gonna chow down and get the, the songs. Yeah. She's actually the, uh, the star of the show here. I think she's the one who created all of this. Oh, really? Yeah. Sabina, I believe. That would be 170. How much are the sauces? Uh, 100 pesos. 100? Yeah, around Is that like five, six bucks? Yeah, five, something. You have the tamarindo? Yes. Picado. Yeah, so I ended up actually getting another one of their sauces. I got the tamarindo. Is this one. the one you put on it? That's here? the one. Yeah, it's the one I put on it. Okay, it was good. It was yeah. Good sauce. Yeah, there you go. Here's ingredients. <laughs> there you go. So you just get serenaded on the street. It's like, it's good too. Nice, a little surprise. Yeah. He's walked up, started to sing. I think he was saying kiss me in Spanish, pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> the streets definitely got a lot of character. Yeah. And characters. <laughs> you tell this is like their their strip, you know? Welcome to the Cantina Husongs. So this place opened back up in 1892. This is Baja California's oldest cantina. Oh, okay. And they are the other restaurant or bar that claims to have created the margarita. I'm sure they're both good. Let's yeah. go check it out. Okay. That place was a little rowdy, but then we got used to it probably because of the margarita. It reminded us of a bar in Prescott. Yeah, it's like a Mexican like a version small... of a, like a Western bar yeah. in Prescott. It's cool though. Where I like there's like music, people are like vibing. In the U.S., like when somebody knows a song, the whole bar starts singing yeah. the song. Yeah, so that was pretty Same cool. thing here, but with like That's the mariachis cool. playing. I liked it. I like the ambiance. Yeah. Definitely a lot different than Bar Andalus. And the margaritas are very different too. Even stronger, huh? Fish market. Oh yeah. But then what are we gonna do with it? We can't cook it. We can't, I'm not gonna eat it raw either. Oh no? Oh no. dang. 
I really like the, like, the, 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 the city feels so alive here. It does. And it is a Saturday. If we could spend more time here, we would. But I like it here. <laughs> You know, this part kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, is it San Felipe? When we went there with oh, uh, yeah. my mom and yes. Jim? Yeah, San Felipe. Got some good live music going on yeah. over here. Yeah, this town is alive. It is, I like and it. And it's not just all people from the cruise ship. There's almost, I think we're like the only ones around right now that look like we're from the cruise ship. Yeah. I know. Taking back with us? I know. It on the cruise ship? I was like, can Probably I get not. one? <laughs> right. Leave my stuff on the cruise. I'm flying back with a pup, apparently. <laughs> back from Ensenada and honestly it kind of surprised me. There's a lot of people like on YouTube and whatnot kind of making it uh, seem like it's there's not all too much going on but I don't We know. had a great time. Yeah. It was fun. I, had, I really like enjoyed it. Like walking Ensenada. around, the vibe. It was the vibe. Yeah. The culture. Everybody yeah. seemed to be having a good time. Seems like a pretty popular uh, tourist destination for people in Mexico too. But uh, yeah. you know a pretty lively city. Everywhere we went you know everybody was nice and it was fun. We had a great time. And like, yeah, they offered us a free fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple surprises here and there. Yeah. Like, I wasn't really expecting to walk upon that uh, the fish market there, but yeah. maybe someday we'll be back. It's only about an eight-hour drive or so from home, so yeah. not too bad at all. But uh, no, it was a great time. I really enjoyed Ensenada. Don't let uh, you know any of the people out there that seem a little bit more pessimistic towards Ensenada yeah. scare you off. It's more of what you make of it. And we can we can have a good time anywhere we go. Yeah. So uh, we just love exploring uh, different cities and enjoying other cultures. And we definitely got that today in Ensenada. Mm -hmm. And now it's back on the ship. We're gonna kind of take the rest of the night for ourselves. Yeah. And we gotta start getting ready for dinner. Yeah. Um, be sure to stay tuned because tomorrow we're gonna have more of an all Is day. It's a full day at sea. Yeah. Tomorrow's a full day at sea. So we're gonna you know we're gonna just see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. <laughs> Um, so tomorrow should be a fun day. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate it's coming to an end, but uh, yeah. you know if you want to see more of like what the ship has to do on a day at sea, be sure to stay tuned. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys yeah, in the next, next one. one.